This is exciting. Oh, dear. We have been expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Please, uh, come inside the manor. All will be explained. Of course, uh, your friends are also welcome. Twist our arms, why don't you? Ah, I almost forgot. What'd you do without me? Oh, 
How fare you, Sir Guardian? It seems that Maester Seymour has returned to Guado Salam. He's young, but he deserves our respect. to hear about the far plane or the pyre flies? Ahem. The far plane's the place where pyre flies born from ascending gather. They appear in the shape of people who've died and gone to the far plane. Quite the phenomenon, how I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. They say the pyreflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. But only the dead appear on the far plane. No image of the living has ever been seen. It's a great mystery, but maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the hearts of the living. And that little bit borrows the pyreflies' power for their paranormal performance. Or maybe not, who knows? And that, as they say, is that. Care to hear about the far plane or the pyre flies? Ahem. They may be called pyre flies, but they aren't really flies, you see. They're those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the pyreflies doing. In fact, pyreflies have something to do with aeons, too. The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Maester Seymour doesn't look like them, no. Don't you know? The last leader... Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. I don't like the smell of this one, eh? Stay close to Yuna. I wonder what smells so nice. Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. <gasps> Why does he want to see me? This way, please. This way, please. I will go inform Lord Seymour. Please wait here. I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? 
Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question and you're explaining things. You'd rather I say nothing then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin too? Well, there are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkind is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think either way. Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. Oh. Kimari speak no more. What could it be? Oh. <laughs> Truly, it is good to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. But now, a new leader Lord Seymour has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough, Trommel. Must I always endure such praise? Welcome! You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Xanarkand? Correct. Xanarkand, as it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkand. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? Lady Unaleska! She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. 
And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone. To defeat the undefeatable sin, it took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. Your face is beat red. You okay? He... He asked me to marry him. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna. No. All summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. We will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. Yuna, the High Summoner's daughter, Seymour, the leader of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? What? No way! We gotta defeat Sin. Romance can wait. 
You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this, but I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat sin. Like Braska before you. <laughs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the far plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? Question about this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. You thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> You'll see once we get there. Aren't you coming? <sighs> I do not belong there. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. You're still here. See you later. What the?
The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they looked so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, ya? Yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up that game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, ya? Yeah? But then again, here you are on a far plane. Guess your place is here. So? How you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about. I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? Wow. He is dead, and I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> What? I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but there'll be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Hmm, how about mm, Waka? What, me with Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough, not even close. Oh, sorry, my mistake. You'd do well to remember that. Knowing a bit about women might come in handy someday. Yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bavel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? Uh, uh... I must do what everyone wants. Not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jet. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is Sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Uh, uh, Mom? It's her. She's very pretty. <gasps> but... Wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. Uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hmm. It's okay. Ah. Uh. I think I just... figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See, so, so I, told I told him what I thought of him right, right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just, Just a, sec, a sec, dear. dear. 
Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! In just, just a, sec, a sec, dear. Ah, uh, go to him. He'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. Oh. Lord Jiskel! Oh, Lord Jiskel! Uh, he does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. He is Lord Jiskel no more. Send him now. <laughs> Talk later. We leave now. What was that just now? That really Lord Disco? I don't understand how a man like Lord Disco can die and not be sent. I would think that he was sent once. But he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death.
I will go. Meet with Maester Seymour. Yuna! Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Um... What? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way is fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. Listen, if Yuna gets married, then I... What? That again? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. See? But, if Yuna said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. Huh? Uh, you're not making much sense. I know. We leave as soon as Yuna returns. I trust you'll be ready. For a while there, I was a little worried about what was gonna happen, yeah? When we leave here, we have to go through the Thunder Plains next, you know? Summoner not with you? No. She's at Seymour's place. That's Maester Seymour, or Lord Seymour. Oh, I'll be careful. Sorry. That's all right. Oh, Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago. You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Whoa! I gotta tell the others! I do to help. Yuna, let's go. They say Seymour went to Makarena Temple. Makalania Temple. I. What I don't get is, why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? 
Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Ah, that's probably it. <laughs> Yuna. What is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. Are we supposed to cross that? See the lightning rod towers? The lightning is drawn to them, hopefully. We head north, not too near and not too far from the towers, yeah? Meaning we should avoid wide open areas. <gasps> I think I forgot something in Guado Salam. Nice knowing you. Okay, okay, I'll go. Mm-hmm. 